Hi, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K and my good buddy Dotto. Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be a very exciting video because we're gonna be installing the full carbon custom painted side fairings on our Lamborghini inspired Ducati Panigale. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, the beautiful Miss Christina K is gracing us with her presence with, with another beautiful one piece from Boutine LA. Look at Yellow. that. I Your told her face. she needed an orange one. I don't have one. But she doesn't have Someone an orange wants to one. Give me an orange slinky and it From Boutine. They don't even make those anymore, I don't think. Do um, they? I think they still do, but not an orange. So don't forget, like all her spicy social media links are in the description below. Okay, so we already have one of these unboxed, but we're gonna do the. You guys have seen these. Well, most. Actually, a lot of people didn't watch that video when we picked them up. So this is gonna kind of be like a first. A first look for a lot of you. So, this is but done by a local painter, Dave uh, Leitner, and he did a phenomenal job. That is so beautiful. This was a design that I came up with alongside uh, Car, De Car Designs, and Dave brought it to life for us. So this is it right here. This is, I think, probably the coolest part. This and the tank are probably the two coolest pieces. So it's Lamborghini Blue Cepheus. It is actual Lamborghini paint code. And then this one doesn't have any orange on it, but you can see the carbon fiber that he left. So you can see somewhere, something like that. Like Look at that. So today you're gonna actually start to we get like, it. we're gonna, it's gonna take some fitting. Look Dotto. at that, what do you think, Dado? Not my thumb. Pretty nasty, huh? Yeah. So this is the actual Lamborghini font. Um, I like how they did this too, because I, originally I wasn't sure if I was just gonna have Panigale. Then they put the V4S we'll behind the, the G. Exposed. Yeah, the exposed here carbon well here. Yep. In the gills. In here. It's absolutely stunning. I love this Gorgeous. color on here. And I cannot wait to see it on the bike. Actually, do you want to show them the um, winglets too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the winglets are in orange, Let's which is gonna tie everything together. Uh, yeah, I think that's the right size. Yeah, that's yeah. the bottom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which Maybe. he did leave a little is carbon it? exposed on the bottom. Yeah, this is the bottom. Okay. Why are you saying it's not? Oh, I don't know. I would think it is. No, the carbon's on the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's it has to be. Yeah. Yeah, okay, sorry. Is the boxer now? She knows what she's doing. Do you? Do you though? Sometimes. Most of the time. 30% of the time. Uh-huh. Just slamming it against the side and stuff. I'm not sorry, I'm what is it? Oh, okay, I see now. Okay, there we go. This will be a better idea. Oh man, look at that. I, I put this on when I held this up. I was like, ah, oh, it's missing orange. Yeah. I forgot these. Dude, that is badass. So don't forget, you can help support this project and be entered to win this motorcycle. patreoncom slash Customs is always the first link in the description below. Thank you, Tina Wieners, for your help. You're welcome. I didn't show you the other one, but. It's the same thing. Same. Yeah. So now we're gonna get to work. Well, Dotto's gonna Dotto's. get to work. <laughs> All right, one more thing before we get started. When I picked up the stock fairing, I realized how much heavier this actually is. So I decided we should weigh them versus the other one. Oh yeah, that would work. If it stays like that. Three point. Three pounds. Four point two. Yeah, four point two ounces. Okay, for the stock one. And then we'll put the new one on. And the only thing that's actually transferring over, all of this stuff is built in. So it's really just, the, oh wait, that's even built in. So yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, this is a, holy crap. One pound, 15 ounces. Are you ripping it? So over one pound, almost one and a half pounds. Are you ripping? I may have. Oh my God. It's pretty bad. So bad. Oh, that's it was, not a random it was Dozer. Not a random it was Dozer. Right so um, that's over a pound per fairing. Not to mention it was 12 pounds or 11 pounds for the subframe and three pounds for the tank. So that you're looking at 15 pounds with just the, the body work of the bike. Not to mention, I think it was 15 pounds with the exhaust as well. And we have carbon wheels that are here too. That's gonna be another three to five pounds. You really cropped us to this. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> I apologize. But yeah, it's a lot of weight savings. And my goal for this build wasn't just weight savings. It was mainly, I wanted to make it look really cool. But if we can do good weight savings while making it look cool, then all the better. What's up? What's the matter? Is this the, huh? is this the site? Ooh, yeah, why? Because I wanted to see with the clear clutch. Next to the clear clutch? Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. This, this goes up over top. It sits like oh, that. Dude, this looks so dope. Oh my god. That looks so good. Yeah, it's gonna be oh. it's gonna be amazing. 
close. We're so close, guys. So after this, we're gonna do all the rear set stuff because the belly panel gets in the way of this. So there will be one more episode to finish up this stuff right in here, the rear sets and things, and then we'll be able to put the belly panel on. And then the bike's gonna be fully assembled, hopefully for the rest of the build. And then we'll do all the round stuff, or like wheels and all the handlebar stuff and everything else around it. So it's gonna be badass. I'm excited. Okay, let's start transferring stuff over. All right, so we're already running into issues just transferring stuff over. First issue is this uh, nut just starts spinning along with the, what is it, the inside of the... Uh, it's like a stud that's supposed to sit still, but because it's plastic, a lot of times if, they, if they're if they over tightened, it just, the whole thing spins, and I'll just have to find another nut. Yeah, so we'll find another nut for that and a washer. We tried to put a clip on, and this is too thick because of probably all the layers of clear coat, which is a good thing. So we're going to have to grind this down a little bit so that we can move the clips. And all we're going to do is transfer everything over, put the... Um, what's this called, winglet on, and then we'll put it on the bike, and then we'll go from there and do the same thing on the other side. There's a bunch of stuff we gotta transfer over. Half of it's broken, this piece is broke, so I don't know what we're gonna do with they that. They always get, that gets Smashed, destroyed. Smashed, yeah, and destroyed. Why is there stuff on it? I have no idea. They put like... Oh, uh, lube. Yeah. So she don't get dry. Uh-huh. Back to the dentist, Dot Dotto's dentistry. All right, so unfortunately, Dave forgot to cover one of the, um, uh, with threaded areas. So Dotto threw on a what is this? A wire wheel. Wire wheel. Wire wire wheel. Please don't hit the paint there, bud. Yeah, you gotta have a steady hand to clean the uh, threads out. That's what he's doing right I now. I haven't had anything to drink, so everything's getting <laughs> sanded. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Does it fit on here? Oh, it does. Oh man, that looks good. I mean, it's not Holy tight up against. Yeah, yeah, I know, dude. That looks so badass. Look at that, like God. the finish on this. Oh, it's it's incredible. It right, is so let's cool. It down. Okay. All right, folks. It's the moment we've all been waiting for, for months and months. This is tough. And months. Yeah. There's no, there's no like movement, no play, like the plastic pieces, right? So there's yeah, all of these like, remember they go in like reverse Lambo doors. I know, but the problem is. We also have the front to go in. That's a lot to line up. No, yeah, that's. Yeah, look, it doesn't. It doesn't bend. It doesn't. Yeah. The other, you just push. Uh huh. These, they just. That don't is scary. Work. So let's see. There you go. You're getting it. Do you want me to hold this up here, dude? This is gonna look so good. That's the rear set. Don't worry. The rear set just fell off. This should fit down. Down in there. Oh man. Sorry, Dave. It's so crazy. Okay. It's just. Okay. Wow. That's the first little. Dude. Oh my god. This is gonna be absolutely incredible. Alright, we'll let him continue and button up and get some bolts in there. I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so while we had a little bit of play in the fairing before we completely attached it, I told Dotto, this is gonna be coming out anyway when we do the rear sets in the next episode. So I said, why don't we just pull this out while we have the space for it. So we're just pulling that whole piece right there out of, out of here. If it's gonna... I'll just get one more there we go. When so I was, that's when all I was gonna get replaced. Something out of the way. Yeah, it's junk anyway. Piece it's getting push. thrown in the trash. This is gonna be integrated. This is gonna get removed. And it's gonna get integrated into the motor course rear set, or um, rear brake reservoir will be integrated into the rear set or rear set yes that's we'll great. just we'll just put the bolt right through the cylinder head that way it warms up your that's fluid a great in, idea. in the winter time that's a great idea yeah, yeah so we might have to tidy up some wires in there then yep. but for now we're gonna zip tight that's all out of the way so that's good and we have access to it i can't get over how good this looks even from the front end look at that oh my god it's so dope next fairing gonna do the same thing repeat the same exact process so we're gonna transfer over all of the little um What's it called? Grommets. Grommets and little places that screw into and all that. Um, we have the new winglets. We'll see if we can try and get these off, but we have backup ones that we found since we couldn't get one of the ones off the other side. And then don't forget guys, I am gonna be sending all of the stock parts back to, uh, well not back to, but to Moto Million. Look at the size of the Ducati on here. All right folks, last time, pray, this is the last time we see this bike without a fairing on it. So I might actually give him a hand with this, but he just did the other side. So hopefully this one, the other side ended up fitting literally perfect. Look at that. The lines, like everything is literally perfect. Look at that, all that up there. 
We did actually end up taking this off because we had to pop the uh, screw things on right there, the tabs. So, oh man. And just like that, dude. Look at it from the front. I mean, it's not fine. Yeah, yeah. Quickly, but look at that. <laughs> Damn. That is so sick. And I love how it's dark in there, right there. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. Dude. I'm, I'm very happy. It's getting there. Yeah. It's getting there. All right, folks. Just like that. Actually, we'll put the we'll put the top stuff on too. He's putting the center bolt in right there. Look at that fitment. Holy hell, this thing looks absolutely disgusting. I think this is going to be my favorite definitely favorite build series bike of all time, possibly favorite bike of all time. That just looks look at that, guys. And we still have a lot more to do. Wait till we do the diamond stitch custom seat on it. Oh my lord. Okay, let's drop it down off the lift and let's uh, put the top stuff on. Okay, we put the ignition cover back on. Next, we're going to put the battery cover, tank cover, whatever you want to call it. Look at this, guys. It's starting to come together now. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. Look at that. This bike is disgusting. I don't want to give it away. I might just offer the winner cash. I'm not sure if I can do that or not. <laughs> Look at this thing, dude. Wait till we get the black triple tree we have and do all the handlebar stuff and the reservoirs. Dude, this bike is gonna be a literal, like, moving piece of art. I can't get over this. Look at that. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, okay. Four bolts right here, and then I think that'll be it for this one, for this episode. I think what we're gonna do is we'll do the rear sets, belly panel, and then we'll do the custom seat cover. So we can put that on, and then it'll be like pretty much together. And then we're just waiting on the brake calipers. We got brake stuff to do. Um, and then all the handlebar stuff. It's actually not, oh, and the wheels. We have carbon wheels as well. And rear brake stuff. Um, we've got nuts, some brake cooling calipers, and front fork cover, or front fork protection. And like, that's it. It's getting close, boys. We're getting close. Look at that. I wanna ride this damn thing. We will, don't you worry. We will, what do you think, teens? Incredible. Disgustingly good, right? God, that front end, man. Yeah. Oh. I think it's one of the coolest bikes that is ever. sexy. Right? Holy shit. That belly shit. panel is going to be I know. I can't glorious. wait for that. These side panels I was really excited for, though, because look at look at how good the Lamborghini looks on there. You know? That is nice. It's so badass, dude. And look oh, at the top cover. Goosebumps. The top cover. Oh, man. With the carbon. I'm putting one of these on my Lambo uh, Pentagon, or my Lambo Street Fighter. You ever get too. to see this in person? You ever see well, we're gonna do the giveaway. the giveaway. We're gonna do the giveaway at Warhorse. Completely different than what you see online. Yeah, this doesn't do it justice, but it does look pretty good on the camera too. And the exhaust too. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's nasty. <laughs> All right, we got the uh, tank cover bolted down. Look at this, guys. Absolutely incredible. I'm so happy with how this looks. You never know when you design something off a bike how it's gonna look on the bike, but I gotta say it looks even better than I had imagined so i'm super excited teens you like it i think it's gorgeous it's gonna be amazing huh it's beautiful. when it's all said and done dodskis you like it when it's like out of this garage and moving and yeah photos, moving around oh my god the photos yeah we're gonna film some epic content with this it's what do you think like seeing the photos on your phone and on the yeah. computer seeing them painted but once as soon as you put them on the bike <laughs> and all the lines are just so perfect just wait till we like like wipe, wipe it, it down, down detail, and detail it, detail yeah. it a little bit. Like look at look at these lines. I know, dude. You know they're literally perfect. And like look look how Dave like look at that how far. He know. didn't just paint it. You know, no. it's like everything's done so meticulously, well, look and it that. fits. Look at this carbon. It wraps from here underneath and works works all the way back. Yeah, it's it's incredible. Every line on his bike. It's so purposeful. Uh huh. Yeah, I love it. All right, so I think that's it for this episode. So 
Next episode, we're gonna do the rear sets, and then we're gonna do the belly panel, and then we'll do the rear seat, and then the bike's gonna be actually together. So I'm super excited for that. Don't forget, Moto Million for all your motorcycle part needs. Use my code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money. Check out Christina and Dotsky's uh, social medias. They're all in the description below. If you enjoyed the video and you wanna be entered to win this bike, patreon.com slash Customs is always the first link in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.